Hello, Warner students. How are you? I've been doing a lot of work with you about nouns and the types of words that nouns are. And today I'd like to talk to you about another type of word that supports nouns. They're almost like partners to nouns. Bear with me while I share my screen and we will learn about some new types of words. So the new types of words that I would like to show to you are called adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe nouns. Let's review what nouns are one more time. Nouns can be people words, place words, or thing words. So let's think about People, I think a good word to maybe talk about today might be students. A place could be a restaurant and a thing could be an alligator. How might we describe those nouns? Well, a student could be smart, friendly, and serious. A restaurant could be large, noisy, and great. An alligator could be green, hungry, or vicious. These are all adjectives. They describe our nouns, student, restaurant, and alligator. Check out this road. Let's say you had to write a sentence about this road. In our language, adjectives are almost always found in front of the noun. So if the noun is road, notice how we said, this long wavy road goes on forever. Road is the thing that we're talking about, so it's our noun. Long and wavy is what the road is like. That's adjectives. Notice I said though, almost always found in front of the noun. Sometimes adjectives can be found after the noun but we have to be very careful when we write our sentences that way. Here's an example. The road that is long and wavy goes on forever. In this sentence, the noun comes first and the adjectives come after it. Both sentences are written correctly. Here's a hint about adjectives. Think about your five senses when you're trying to think of adjectives and how you can describe nouns. We all know what our five senses are. So if you're taking the time in your writing or your speaking to describe sounds, how something looks, how something tastes, how something may feel, or how something smells, then you are definitely going to be using adjectives. Let's look at this picture. This looks like a pretty great party. I'm gonna try using the five senses that I just spoke about and list all of the words that I can to describe this picture. Well, I think it looks like a loud party and a really fun party. If you look quickly at the bottom corner, you're gonna catch a glimpse of a cake. That cake looks delicious. So my adjective would be delicious cake. They're wearing pointy hats. Here's a silly one. I wonder if they have smelly bodies because they've been running around all day long. They sure are happy kids and they have wide open mouths. This has been an exciting day for all of these kids. My adjectives help you to know what this party has been like. Now I'm gonna sh stop sharing my screen because I'd like to surprise you with another way that we can learn about adjectives. I think you'll enjoy it. Give me a second and I will show you another screen. Here we go. Do you want to 
want to learn about adjectives, their words to describe a noun, like how big or small, shape and all, color, feel and sound. We use them every day to describe the nouns that we see around us. Do you want to learn about adjectives? It doesn't have to be that hard. Let's go. Let's describe this little snowman. He's round and white and short and cute. Now let's try the castle too. It's large and blue, frozen and cold. And this little sled. It's brown. Then there's this pretty princess. She's kind and fun and brave. Let's describe this queen here too. She's wise and smart, it's true. Just icy blue. That's all we have time for. All those adjectives to describe nouns. We just learned about adjectives. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that. I have one more slide to show you before my PowerPoint about adjectives is done. Remember this picture here? We have one more to look at. Check out this picture of being at the circus. I'd like you to look at this picture Think about all of the nouns that you're seeing and think about words that you could put in front of those nouns to describe them. Pause the PowerPoint so that you can watch this picture for as long as you need. Have a great day. And I'm so glad that you were able to watch the video today. See you soon.